Welcome back. What day is it? It's day five. Yeah, we're Four. almost halfway actually. Right. This is incredible. Yeah, so where were you? Well, this morning we split up. I was at the um, Media Berlin Brandenburg Net, I produced this brunch. And um, yeah, I like it. I actually met up like with a whole bunch of um, old people I knew. I met like through various events. It um, they had a panel discussion about um, the long way to the customer and uh, digital distribution. Um, they had somebody from um, Ele EA Electronic Arts, like the the gaming company, mm -hmm. and then they had somebody from the Movie Association in Germany. They had um, a politician. She was, um, I think, um, Fraktion, like uh, Bündnis 90 Die Grüne. Mm -hmm. And then they had like a um, distributor for video games for you to play. So they were discussing like the new ways and um, basically the, a lot had to do with um, the rights of the customer, like the data protection, stuff like this, very German topic. So this is actually kind of like um, imposing eventually difficulties for Germany to um, have like a, a competitive in the world market, how this increases chances that people just download illegally stuff. And one very interesting thing is the following. The time window is not making such a huge difference on illegal downloads, but because actually the illegal downloader wait also for the HD version to appear. So they say like there's a peak, like once the movie is out, like in the bad um, film from screen version is online, basically there are not that many downloaders actually. The most downloads come as soon as the DVD is out and there's like an HD version coming. So that is also um, a very interesting little detail that um, illegal customers, consumers um, do want quality as well. Yeah. Well, on my side, I was uh, looking what to do and uh, I went to see a movie. So the name of the movie is uh, When I Saw You and it's a Palestinian movie. And it was completely random. I just was looking what is showing at that time. So just let's just go in. And I have to say, it is so far the best movie I've seen in the whole Berlinale. Really? Yes. It's amazing. It's a very touching story, perfectly done, very simple, and a very, very current theme about the Palestinian refugees. But it's actually set in 1967. I, I chose to do the film in this period because uh, it's it's this. It's a. It's a really crucial moment in Palestinian history um, because it was the second wave of refugees. Um, the first being in 1948, and then and then this was the year that the West Bank and Gaza um, was were, were occupied. And it's it's um, very personal because it. You know, my family is from Bethlehem, and it was the you know the year that their city was occupied, and it, it's the year that changed everything. Um, you know, for them and, and those that were outside were stuck outside. Um, those who, who remained inside lived under military occupation, and it was it was a year of tragedy. But at the same time, it was the '60s. It was the late '60s, like the '60s everywhere in the world, in which there was a great amount of hope and change um, with you know civil rights movements, anti-colonialist movements, liberation movements all over the world, and, and in which they were connected to very deeply connected to each other gives you a great insight into into how the Palestinians are living this conflict and it gives you an, the other side of the story that you normally don't get on normal media channels so it's about a boy an 11 year old it's all seen about uh, through the eyes of these boys he is um, a refugee with his with his mom at a camp and uh, he's just missing his father he just wants to go back and get his father and he doesn't understand why he just can't go back home and get him so it's I won't tell a story of course I don't know if there's any possibility that you would see that other than in a film festival because the problem is this kind of movies, you, you only get to see at this kind of festivals, but look for it. It's uh, from um, uh, the Anne-Marie Yassir is the name of the director. So yeah, beautiful, great movie. I think now you got me all excited. Now I will eventually look if I can catch it, like one of the final days of the Berlinale, which have like still some space left for things to watch for us. Definitely, definitely worth seeing. Yeah.
So we have an exciting day today. We're going to see another industry talks about art house on demand and whether the TV series are the back the next big thing for filmmakers. What else? Yeah. Then we have one film. I have no idea what kind of film do we have. Like, what's the film tonight? Oh, The Nun. The Nun. It's a it's a competition film, a French film. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So. All excited. Oh yeah, and I apologize for the lack of footage from the media net producers brunch because I didn't charge my mobile phone tonight Ooh. and it just switched off. <laughs> See you later. We're in the U-Bahn because we're late to our next show, but we wanted to let you know what we just saw. Yes, we uh, saw two panels. I think they were great, like the second one specifically, um, talking Jane Campion, her screenwriter, then there was like the creator of uh, the Dexter series and uh, one of uh, representative of Sky, Germany. Um, it was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I'm having my best Berlin of the day, I can say. I mean, I saw this Palestinian movie and then this Art House on Demand panel was really enlightening and I think there are like good possibilities for, for projects there. And they were talking about how VOD, of course, is challenging the business to make content available like right now for everyone to see and not only to, to not only to, to to fight piracy but because just people want to see the movies whenever they want wherever they want and just have them available uh, at the same time so people would actually be willing to pay the same uh, amount that a ticket uh, to cinema costs just to see them on their own home cinema so i think that's a great idea yeah and uh also for the whole TV thing, who of you hasn't watched like a couple of uh, episodes of Dexter, True Blood, um, Game of Thrones, um, The Walking Dead in a row like on a weekend and they are showing here at the Berlinale James Campion's series in one row. Now after this panel we are totally going to do this. So who knows, maybe this is really the new form of cinema. People will, got, uh, will get to, into the theater to watch like Indian style a whole series. Yeah, The Top of the Lake is the name of the series and um, it's, uh, if you have seen, for example, the Danish series The Killing or the remake on the, uh, the US remake, it, it's really worth uh, checking out and watching like a binge style on a huge screen in a cinema is a great opportunity. So yeah, I mean, I think it's been very I, productive. Yeah. I loved it and we got some good contacts out of today so far, I think. Um, yeah, the context especially, I mean, there are some possibilities from Berlin Junction because there's actually a British VOD that uh, specializes in art house and indie, so we will be checking that out. I will also add, uh, use the context for Kings, my last feature film, so let's see like, if this is um, even giving us like some, some uh, traction for the film. Yeah, so anyway, uh, we're going to see The Nun right now, a competition movie, and uh, let you know what that does go. Yeah, and and I wanted to encourage to sit in the first row if you have some panel discussions because that means you can just go straight to yeah. the table after and you will be the first one to asking the questions and for the business cards. Outside the Haus der Berliner Festspiele. And I'm um, really cold, it's fucking freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. So that was the, our last event of the day. We saw The Nun Le Religieuse, a French movie. Do don't you remember. remember the director? No. No, well. I don't. I, just, I definitely don't. just know it was with Isabel Huppert. Too long. Um, I'll just say one thing. For <laughs> me, it was French? a flat line monotone <laughs> <laughs> I think that summarizes it I, well put it this way I have not the best of luck like picking French films and this one is definitely not making like me a bigger fan of French films yeah well I have in general I have problems with the religious subject matters I mean I do like mm -hmm. one thing which is what I personally think about religion which I think is just all a whole 
bunch of hypocritical shit. But uh, <laughs> other than that, um, as a movie, I just wanted to sleep. Yeah. So. I, I don't like characters who just don't do much and do this then for one hour and a half. <laughs> just not doing much. Yeah. So I guess, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Me neither. See you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh. European film market. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do. Contacts, projects, stuff. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs>